Top Shelf Breaks at Gmail. Top Shelf Breaks at Gmail.com. Maybe she can hear me. All right, good luck, triple teamer, tiered, dual box, prism, good luck. Johnny Ice, you're not in this triple teamer? Oh, you would, Neil. You definitely would. He drinks cold show. Drinks Foster's from Australia. Tyson will have an iced tea, which is fine. Johnny Ice will probably have some brown whiskey from Kentucky. <laughs> Your wife might call me gay. Thirteen, thirteen. Steven Radford would definitely have Coors Light. Ernie would have some fancy beer that's like $12 for a pint. Scorp would have cheesesteak. <sighs> Wonder who's going to win $100 a month for six months. That's pretty fun. Like, oh, I just get to do $100 of breaks a month. Bonus. Boom. What's up, Tommy Hughes? It's about to be in Chicago in the next, by summer probably, or close to it.
All right, does anybody want to trade your teams? Here's the link. -da -da -na 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 -na. Yeah, Garrett's pretty well versed in field. Here we go. Do some cool breaks. And it goes in five, four, three, two, one. It's gone. That means we're going to get a monster. From now on, every time we feel we're going to get a monster, I'm going to turn that into an animated GIF. And uh, that means a monster's on the way. It's called the Carter Alert. Miller time, dude. You finally started hitting some stuff. You've been watching? How's he doing this year, dudes? My basketball friends. Is he playing well? Is he holding up his end of the bargain? Yeah, Miller has been working hard on his stuff up there in Oregon for since I've met him, since three, four years. Oh, man, I thought that was the other dude. Hamido Diallo. Yeah, the cool thing about Immaculate is it's chunky and it is shiny. Like this. Robert Williams. Whoever has a dope-ass Boston Celtics locker room towel and or shirt, raise your hand. Can't remember if it was a shirt or a towel. Well, I look forward to meeting a lot of you at the National. There's a shiny Nerland's Noel.
See you, Miller. He's probably going to watch football tomorrow. Hey, Miller. Before you leave, listen. If I do the draft breaks again this year with Panini, and your Oregon dude is there, I hope that happens. But I doubt it, because he's going to be in the upper tier, and they usually don't have time to come in and sign for the Panini. They do, but they don't come in with us to do interviews. They're too cool. Shiny Rajon Rondo. Prism. Enos Cantor. Black Friday night, everybody's entered in. Some of these breaks have multiple entries depending on the price point and the product. We're going to pick the winners on Cyber Monday night. More breaks are going to go on the website. There's a Luca. His name is Luca. And he has a hot mom. Alfarik Amino. I think there's, there's a shiny Kent Bazemore. Did I miss that? Yeah, I saw it peeking out, Tyson. That's why I keep him up here. So in case we have to refer back to him. Thong maker. Come on, Prism. Give us a gold auto. Hey, what's up, So Cooley? He does. It's all peeking out. Aaron Holiday. Pacers. Big Ben. No, Martin, he's not randomly yelling. Or he's not randomly typing uh, human body parts, sexual organs into chat. Like you have Tourette's. Martin has like chat Tourette's he has chat Tourette's it's like out of the blue some random sex organ will be printed in chat so cool he's watching in prison on uh calm alone on twitter sorry this is a hamido diallo red Oscar Robinson, 99er. We had a ma uh, Bagley rookie. A blue Bagley of this earlier tonight. Apparently that's a dope-ass card. Go hard or go home, says Jason Tatum. There's freaking Dragon Bender. Call him Dragon Bender. Every time I opened up a Panini pack one year, it was Dragon Bender. I couldn't take it. 
Do you guys remember that? We'd open up panini packs on there and it was Dragon Bender, Dragon Bender, Dragon Bender. Is there case hits in this? What's the big case hit? There's two autos and 22 prisms. That's 222. I got to start thinking of what we're doing on December 22nd, 1222. Dragon Ball Z. How to train your Dragon Bender. Dragon Bender's Lair. How about that one? Dragon Bender's Lair. Oh, here comes something gold. Well, first off, here's a pink Kyrie. He's a number to 149. Shattered ice looking thing. That's pretty dope. That might be new. Is that a new color? It's like lavender. Number to 149, Lavender Kyrie. Here is a Golden Harrison Barnes. To 49. That is a very nice card. Lavender. Dragon's Lair. I ruled Dragon's Lair in the arcades. I did. In fact, there is a place here called the Retro Underground Arcade. I really need to go meet the owners. But it's two floors and it's nothing but old video games from the 70s and 80s. Like hundreds, maybe easily 100 to 150 games. Every in any arcade game you can think of from the 80s and even the 70s, like Asteroids. You did? Oh, Dragon's Lair 2? I didn't know Dragon's Lair 2. I could beat Dragon's Lair pretty much, the original one. It's 10 minutes from TSB, man, and no, I'm not. It's $15 all you can play. Yeah, man, they got everything in that bitch. Got everything from, I mean, you name it, it's there. Moon Patrol, of course, the, all the originals like Donkey Kong and Centipede and Galaga and Karate Champ. Dragon's Lairs, that's why I said that because I played that when I was there. Except the joystick wasn't working properly and I... If the joystick doesn't work right in Dragon's Lair, you're not going to get through. So when I mention Centipede right now, you can hear it in your head, right? When you walked into an arcade in those days, Centipede stood out. It stood out amongst all the other games. You always heard Centipede. That noise that it makes. Yeah, he's got a couple of them there. Miss Pac-Man. He's got all the Donkey Kongs. Donkey Kong Jr. Donkey Kong 1 and 2. Marcus Smart. Uh-oh. That's got to be dope. That's a shiny DeAndre Aton, right? Just Google it right now. Underground Retrocade in West Dundee. Underground Retrocade. In West Dundee, Illinois. I've been there twice since I knew, moved out there. Or since the... That's correct, Tyson. Oh. Shiny Bagley. Prism. Commodore 64! I got Texas Instruments. T.I., dude. Dragon's Lair.
Dragon's Lair, a fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. You control the actions of a daring adventurer finding his way through the castle of a dark wizard who has enchanted it with treacherous monsters and obstacles. In the mysterious caverns below the castle, your odyssey continues against the awesome forces that oppose your efforts to reach the Dragon's Lair. Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. <laughs> Martin, there... Uh, I'm hoping Martin's kidding. No offense to any of you or anybody you know that LARPs, but uh, there will be no LARPing. That's, I draw the line at LARPing. I'm as big of a nerd and geek as they make them, but we'll not be LARPing. Paul Pierce, shiny. I am not LARPing. No thank you. That's just That's for a certain type of person. You know what I mean? I just... I, I don't even know where to begin about LARPing. I, it's just so not me. Oh, there you have it, friends. Our buddy Martin is a LARPer. We knew it. Yeah, and we started at 7 tonight, but I lost a little bit of time trying to figure out why this was lagging behind. There's a Trey Young rookie. Kevin Durant. Number to 199. No. I'll hang out at comic book conventions and Star Wars celebrations and, you know, stuff like that. But I, 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 don't, I don't even dress up for Halloween, so I'm definitely not going to dress up to LARP. And I'm definitely not going to run around going, I stab you, I stab you, I stab you. Chris Webber, blue. Marvin Bagley. Oh, man. Freaking points. Come on. Bruce Brown, rookie card. Prism. God damn it. Well, there was a documentary about it. And the kid was, you know, he had social anxiety disorder and stuff. I think it's good for that. I think it's good for kids and people who, you know, may not be able to connect as good in, in social situations, so they all get together and LARP. You know? Like, seriously. It's like furries. Furry convention. Our friend Carter, who's in here, he's not here now, but he is into furries. You know where they dress up like animals, anamorphic stuff? And they go to conventions and hang out. And you look like foxes and tigers and bears and they wear suits.
<laughs> Neil. Neil. That's the best thing I've ever seen in chat tonight. If someone's over there <laughs> yelling poison. <laughs> poison. 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 Oh, man. Well, Lisa Ling has a show called, I forget what the heck she calls her show. It's escaping me right now. Comes on after Anthony Bourdain. May he rest in peace because he was freaking awesome. And her latest one was about furries. There's a BAM silver prism. If any of you guys are bronies, I may have, I, I don't know. I mean, I respect everybody, but I mean, if you're a brony, I, I, I don't know. I, I just don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, honest to God. I don't know whether to be like, you're an idiot or cool, man, to each their own. I, I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words on that one. <laughs> Bronies. Oh, look, it's my little pony. I gotta have the purple one. Oh, man. The sad thing is, I've watched the Brony movie, the documentary. I mean, that, I've seen it all. That's how well rounded I am, is that I've watched the Brony documentary, dude. Two ninety nine, Aaron Holiday, just to see the other cultures and other thing people in in the world in America and the stuff they're into, so I can tell my son what not to do. <laughs> you don't know what a brony is? Google it. Watch that movie. It's a great movie. It's pretty dope. This is what I'd be like if someone came up to me and said they're a brony. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Oh, man. We have... It's a first here. Talking about bronies. There's a cat, man. I mean, see, that's what makes this fun for me. This is... This is what I like. I love conversation. I'm a conversationalist, so... We can start talking about stuff that other people know about. I love that stuff. Like, I didn't think anybody else knew about bronies. This is just the card from the draft. It's not numbered or anything. It's just an insert. It's probably like, oh, that's super rare. There's only one every ten cases of that. It sounds cool, too. Like, yeah, I'm a brony, dude. Well, first off, they wouldn't say it like that. But. I got Retail Prism next week. So it was Michigan and Ohio State today. I know what a jabroni is, too. Man, Tyson, you're so you're such a pop culture dude. I thought for sure you'd be all over the bronies. Bronies are dudes. I use that term loosely, no offense, but men, male species that are into My Little Pony. And I know that sounds made up, but it's true. They love My Little Pony. They <laughs> can't believe I'm even saying that. They go to My Little Pony conventions and they trade stuff and they get together just like we do for sports cards, but it's all for My Little Pony. <laughs> and there's a movie they made about it. And then there's an Anthony Simmons auto, which is good because we got 
points in this. So there's a movie out. Just Google it. It's called Bronies. If you want to watch something about weird cultures, that's your movie. You're not a brony, though, are you, Matt? Neil? I got to fly out to Boston and go to dinner at the Fat Cat, right? I mean, that's... I just got to go there and take a picture eating at Fat Cat. Troy Brown, shiny rookie card. Is that dope? Troy Brown is definitely not a brony. There's a pink wilt. The stilt. 75er. Lakers. Who else did Wilt Chamberlain play for? Shiny Pistol Pete. Atlanta Hawks. Atlanta Hawks, Pistol Pete Maravich? That's odd, isn't it? Uh-oh, there he is. Shiny Zaire. Pelican. Which, which uh, card, Martin? Martin. Martin. To be really careful with these freaking things. Baby, you're a firework. Harrison Barnes, Miles Bridges, Grayson Allen, Red, DJ Burks, and Murray. Here comes another Lavender, Jeremy Lin. Can't we get a rookie auto of this? 149. Lin freaking sanity. Shiny Courtney Lee. Michael MPJ. Prism. Man. Hoya! We are cruising through. Uh, let's see. J-Sauce. Scorp getting points.
cruising, cruising. Might have to go old school down here. It's getting a little chilly. Might have to get the old heater out. So we have a illusions division. I'm just going to see what was next in order. To be fair and easy. Inconsistent. 